Hello everyone, so a couple of days ago I started a project. What is that project called? Even though you didn't ask because you already know by the title. Anyways, I started making a puzzle game. That's called Puzzle Game. At least for now because I haven't thought of a name and uh, I don't I don't think the name's really in that, that important right now since it's not even playable. It's not even a game yet. So this is what I've done so far. So I started by making some test levels with Pro Builder, which kind of took a while because I didn't know how to use Pro Builder. And Pro Builder just makes making levels way more simple than creating, you know, a 3D square in Unity and then and then putting squares on squares and, and then like you know clumping it together. And then on the inside it looks okay, but on the outside it looks like you just vomited all over the place. Pro Builder basically just makes it so your map is basically one square or you know wrecked whatever you want pro builder can do it in like one object instead of like a hundred and i'm not talking about like you know objects in your game or something i'm talking about like you know with my pro builder levels my levels now is basically um you're you're just inside this like square and it's just one object whereas before i'd make like a cube and then i would you know modify it a little bit so it'd be a ceiling one would be a wall another wall you'd have like four walls one ceiling and one floor and they'd be all separate objects and pro builder just does that but makes them all one object which is just way easier to you know make and it also increases performance so why not do it anyways in the test levels i started making some of the basic game mechanics to get them working since this is a puzzle game i wanted a system where you could pick Pick up and throw or drop objects just wh whatever object you see a box boom you can pick it up you can throw it you can drop it and I didn't know how to do that so I watched some tutorials on YouTube and after a couple of hours I got it working Or, you know, maybe it didn't work so perfectly when I added it in there and I had to fix and iron a few things out. But now it works perfectly. It, it was some sort of issues with the rigid body and the, the box just kind of wanted to go where it wanted to go. Or it just wanted to launch itself into space. That was kind of weird too when it did that. But now it's working just fine. Next, I made a ball and a button so that if you roll the ball on the button, it will activate the button. And uh, yeah, you can also wall run. Not not really sure why you would need a wall run in this game yet, but you know, I thought it was I thought it was cool. And then I asked a friend if it was cool, and then he said it was cool. So then I thought it was even cooler. And so it's in the game. It doesn't have a purpose. There's no point of it being in there, but you can do it. And in my opinion, doing it is better than not doing it. I made some doors that would activate with the button so when you activate a button the door would be activated and then you know it would slide out of the map or fall out of the map or whatever actually it's not really a door at all now that I think about it I guess you would have like a door would be something that you you can open or like it has a handle or something this is basically just a wall that floats out of the map when you activate the button so nothing like a door at all I also added some glass walls where you can see through them obviously because it's glass and if you can't see through the glass then it's probably dirty and you should probably clean your glass but you can also throw objects over it you know because you can see so maybe something's on the other side that you want to hit and I don't know it's pretty lame so I decided that the glass should be breakable which I had no idea how to do that so I looked it up and basically to get breakable objects you have to 3d model an object first so that kind of started the obstacle I did not know how to 3d model I still don't know how to 3d model luckily glass or you know the art style of my game and the glass that I needed didn't take that much art skills or 3d modeling skills so that was cool i watched some tutorials though on how to use blender and eventually i came across this video that 
uh, told me that I had to download an add-on for Blender to make breakable objects, which is called Cell Fracture, which turns objects into a bunch of like little pieces, so when it falls apart, it'll shatter into a bunch of different pieces. And then I imported the broken glass and the normal glass into Unity, but somehow I even messed that up because on importing the glass, I accidentally imported the camera and the light in the scene instead of just the glass, so I had to delete those objects and then resave it as a prefab so I could use it. Then I did some things and then I had a wall that was breakable. Well, well sort of. It wasn't really breakable because it just kind of broke on its own which is not what I wanted. So to fix that, which was really not that difficult, I basically made it so when an object of a certain weight hits that glass, it will replace that glass with the broken glass wall and then it just falls apart so it basically still falls apart on its own but you know it gives you the illusion that you threw it and you broke the glass instead of it just switching to a broken glass object and I guess I guess that's all games are you know games basically just lie to you and and say hey yeah you really did this it, it, it's not the it's not us it's not re us replacing things or or you know I mean, like, stealth games are basically just the game lying to you the whole time. I have no idea where that came from or why I started talking about stealth games and games lying to you. But, anyways, I'm pretty happy with what I made so far. It's it's taken a total of, like, three days to make what I have so far. I've been working on the game for three days. And, I, you know, I think I'm making some good progress, some decent progress progress but that is all i got for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button leave a comment below let me know what you guys think and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because you want to be subscribed and i will see you guys next time